This is a Be Kind to Pets, a veterinary educational video sponsored by Tobio Vets. This is for vet students and pet owners. Today we'll be discussing on how a rabbit is paid at Tobio Vets. April 15, 2014, uh, Tuesday morning, rabbit came in for Neuter. neutering. So this rabbit is a nervous rabbit. The owner already told me, so that means we don't bring him out and weigh him. Because if you bring up weight, he will bolt, he will jump off and, and fracture his leg. So we will wait the rabbit and the carrier first. Okay, so first step. Still knowing the behavior, we don't... Uh, uh, so it's 1.9. So I write down here, rabbit and carrier 1.9. Okay, rabbit and carrier 1.9 kg. Okay, now we pick out the rabbit. <coughs> first, we will weigh the carrier now, but my, my assistant, he knows how to handle the scruff of the neck. He holds it by the scruff of the neck, you can see. He must hold it with his right hand. So I will weigh this, I will weigh this, and then you can see, we are minus the weight, okay, so it's 0 0.9. So it minus the weight, okay, so I know this, this male rabbit is exactly 1 kg, 1 kg, okay. Now this rabbit, as the owner has told me really is very nervous, so we don't want to stop holding the scruff of the neck. The scruff of the neck is, is the way to handle the rabbit. So the next stage I will do is to take temperature. Take temperature first. So take weight and take temperature to check whether the rabbit has fever or not. So this is a male rabbit, so this is the rectal area. So we do a rectal, we take a rectal temperature. Now normally, mm, normally uh, it should be about 38.5 huh, for a normal rabbit. In any case, it should be less than 39.5 for, for a rabbit which is a normal, has, that has no fever, should be less than 39.5. I can see it's 39.2, okay, so that's normal. Then uh, I asked the owner already about whether the rabbit is eating drinking, the owner says yes, normally, and then the urine is too, the owner says it's normal. So the next stage I will do is uh, to check the heart. <coughs> so your assistant must hold properly, so I just check the heart. And the lungs, there's no, no uh, lung sound. Heart is, is fast because the rabbit is nervous. But it's normal. Lungs. No, no lung sound, so it's okay. This is a young five month old male rabbit. Holland Lock. Holland Lock. Then I listen to the intestines. See any sound? Sound of uh, intestinal movement. No. This side, the left and the right, yeah? There is some normal sounds of intestinal movement. This shows that the rabbit's digestive system is okay. Then I do a palpation. A palpation is to check whether the rabbit has a constipation. Now there are some stools there. There are some stools there, so this rabbit has not passed motion yet. Huh? Okay, or it's, it's going to pass soon. Okay, then after that, we check the... Of course, normally we check the mucous membrane first. Huh? But in this case, because the rabbit is nervous, so I check it last. So you can see color is good. Check both sides. Color is pink. So it hasn't got anemia. It's quite, quite good color and no eye discharge. Next, I check the mucous membrane. Uh, this is where the assistant must be good. Check the mucous membrane, and the, you can see, you can see that uh, it's pink, pink color. Capillary re review time less than one second. That means it's very healthy. When you press the gums, the color come back less than a second. See, so you can see the rabbit is very uh, nervous, uh, and uh, probably open the mouth and check the teeth is okay. You see no overgrown teeth and uh, and the tongue.
I mean, it's okay. You see the color is very good. There you see the color. This this five month old rabbit is well looked after. The last last part of examination is of course to check whether the rabbit is male or female, because uh, there are owners who think that male, but actually it's a female. So if the vet doesn't check, and if the vet doesn't check, and then he operate here by shaving the head, if, if the owner says this is a female rabbit, and if the vet doesn't check, and then she goes straight into uh, shaving here to do the the spay, then uh, I would say the vet is negligent, because normally she, the male we don't we don't shave the hair here. So this is for the female. So now I will do a check checkup for the genitals. Now, in this case, the owner did tell me it's a male. So, being a five month old, so we have to check whether the testicle has developed or not. If the testicle has not developed, then uh, it's hard to do the castration. So the best is the rabbit sitting up like this here. Yeah. And uh, because the testicle may have gone inside, and so you can't find it. Okay. Sometimes the rabbit is frightened, so the testicle goes in. Okay, there's one, one here, one testicle. So this is quite enough size to to do the neutering or removal of the testicle. Now there's the other one, it's here. You can feel it here and there. So we confirm, we confirm that they sit, sit up straight. Uh, and always hold the scalp of the neck because once you relax, the rabbit jump up. Mm, uh, definitely there's another one here. This one, the left one is more prominent. Now we look for the right one. Although it's very rare to have retained testicle in the rabbit, but we don't uh, take chances. So, yeah, there's one here, but it's not so prominent as the other one. So we have to shift out the hair, but you can see the left one is prominent. The, the right one, the right one is here, it's smaller. This probably has gone inwards because when the rabbit is frightened, sometimes it goes in. So under anesthesia, it should be normal. Come up, come. So, so now we put it back. Okay, put back the rabbit. Just be careful; it doesn't spring away. Hold back the scarf of the neck. Put it in, and uh, uh, wait. I will. Before that, I will inject. So okay. So uh, before that, okay, we will inject. Inject the, the anesthetic dose. I am Xylazine 0.25 and ketamine 0.35. I am for for a one one kg rabbit, no? one kg body weight. Xylazine two percent 0.25 ml, ketamine hundred at 0.35 ml. Combined is equals to 0 0.6 ml, which is here 0 0.6, and the IM injection. So the assistant must hold very tightly, and this will give a good anesthetic uh, effect for neutering. Okay, I'm going to inject now, so the assistant must hold very tightly. If not, the rabbit moves and the half the injection might come out. Okay, so. Okay, hold properly and then break probably to the side here. Yeah. Like the cat like that. It hold like the cat, you know the cat hold the leg as well. If the assistant hold properly like the cat, the best is to of course give me the muscles here. The leg the hand comes up a bit now. If not then I will have to wait. Normally I have feel the muscle. Then my normally I have muscle a bit not much here. Yeah. Okay. So I give injection. I am okay. I put it back in and look at the time. Then record the time and uh, normally about five minutes. Then the surgery will begin with the clipping of the hair. The hair will be clipped and uh, 
the surgery will be it will start in five minutes of the injection, five to ten, and there's no need to top up with uh, isoflurane gas. We have isoflurane gas, but uh, if you are fast enough, you don't need to to uh, top up. And uh, the testicle will be removed, and uh, the incision will stitch up one stitch. Then rapid will begin painkillers and antibiotics, and goes home today on the same day. This is just a short snippet of the surgery done to remove the testicles of the rabbit. Viewing discretion is advised. Rabbit is going home after neutering. Now this rabbit jumps, so it's, one has to be very careful it doesn't jump into the onto the floor. Okay. Now how to hold the rabbit is uh, by the scruff of the neck. That's how the mother holds holds the rabbit. Because if you if you hold the, there's a skin here, just behind the ears. So of course, if your hand is very strong, the grip, then the rabbit will be very uh, immobile. Now I just want to show that uh, you want to see that there's no bleeding here. These are the two areas of uh, you know, can you see? Uh, so you maintain it, uh, You maintain the area. So far, there are two stitches. You can't see uh, one here and one here. It should be like this, uh, they shouldn't be red or anything. Uh. Mm. Then I uh, use facial cotton and just uh, warm water and clean out a bit every day. But if you can't hold the rabbit, so you can't do anything. Uh. Uh. So if you hold the rabbit like this, the scruff of the neck, then it will be very uh, quiet because this is how the mother does it. So the mother, the, during emergency, the mother will hold the rabbit in its mouth like this and then escape to emergency, uh, yeah. escape to safety. If, if the rabbit keeps on struggling, I mean, then how, how is the mother going to transport them? So once it let go, of course, he will be coming back to normal and hopping away. Uh, okay, so better close fast. Uh, close fast and then you go home with the painkillers and antibiotics. Okay, here, press off. For more such services, you can contact us at the following number or email us at judy at tobiovets.com.